universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Jesus do. And, and if we would just stop and think 
just a minute. And, and I don't even wait a second sometimes when I say things that I know I shouldn't like them. <laughs> but you know, God's working on me anyway. The Holy Spirit, I believe, is working in my life. And Amen. To guide me and lead me to the things that I say and, and try to watch and not say anything that uh, is harmful. But I just want to help do the, the work of the Lord and see people come in and know Him. Hallelujah. Amen. <coughs> I never heard you say anything you weren't supposed to say. <laughs> I'd like to give praise for the time uh, that God's given me. My family getting together this weekend to bury my grandma. You know, it's just a real good time. It's good to see family and friends. And we spent the last two nights together on uh, Friday night. We had a viewing for We all got together at my dad's. And we were all outside and enjoyed the lightning show. Good remembrance and a good woman. And I appreciate the church and church. Amen. 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 God can put on some pretty good fireworks sometimes, can he? Oh. Do we have any other testimonies? If not, then I'll turn the service to your own brother Randy. You know, Ruby is talking about the reaction of the world. And Jesus had a real dilemma whenever the scribes and Pharisees began to look at him and how he presented himself. And he said, I don't understand you people. He said, John came and he was fasting and praying and you said he had a devil. And I have come eating and drinking and you said that I'm a wine bibber and a glutton. He said, it's evident you just really can't make up your mind. Now, whenever we look at the world that we're living in, the book said in the last days, we're not talking about destruction of the world, but in the last days, darkness is going to cover the earth and gross darkness, the hearts and the minds of the people. If you look at the economy of the world, uh, it looks like that the book of Revelations is pretty accurate that the world's economy is going to collapse. Even Benaki, our spokesman for the economy, has said there's a possibility of the collapse of the world's economy. Now that it's hard for us to comprehend and grasp because we're still trying to pay Sizz and Robux to keep them from coming and taking our furniture back. And whenever you consider the world economy collapsing and what devastation it would be, it is very difficult to comprehend, to get your thinking, your mind around it. But we are living in what they have now declared the most difficult time of modern man. That we do have darkness and that we are a failing country and a failing system. Now, that doesn't mean anything that we are going to be worse than anyone else. It just simply means that the world is in great darkness. How relevant is the Bible in the world that we're living in today? It's still the most published book. It's the most purchased book. <coughs> and it is probably the most read book, but the most misunderstood. If it wasn't misunderstood, we wouldn't have three or 4,000 different religions in the United States of America. 